From the Kern County Fairgrounds, the rides, exhibits, music, and of course, the food, 17 News is live. Brought to you by Strata Credit Union. Ask about Casasa Check-In. And Kern Research, clinical trials with paid participation to qualified applicants. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise live from the Kern County Fair. I'm Maddie Jansen alongside Alex Fisher and Kevin Charette. And of course we are getting ready for day three of the Kern County Fair and Kevin we just have to say you have done a tremendous job with this forecast. I've been out <laughs> here for the first two nights. You were out here last night and it has just been perfect. Everyone here is talking about the great weather. I actually came out early, sat in a lawn chair and do what I love to do best and that's just people watch. Yeah. Uh, because the weather was so nice and and I got my face painted yesterday <laughs> evening. It's gone now, uh, but uh, that was fun. So uh, an action-packed morning uh, for everybody. And today, when the gates open, the weather is going to be perfect. So it's definitely going to be another great day at the Kern County Fair. And so we might as well jump right into it and talk about the weather forecast on this finally Friday. And yes, the Kern County Fair continues. 61 degrees in Bakersfield right now. We have a light wind out of the east southeast at 5. We did see a light breeze pick up yesterday evening, which was great. As we take a look at your fair forecast for today, uh, 10 o'clock, we're looking at 69 degrees. Today is senior day, and I know Dignity Health will be out here for all the seniors, giving them a, um, health checks and letting them know all about different resources. And then by 4 o'clock, look at that, 83 degrees. You really can't beat it. As we take a look at the Tatchby area, 45 degrees right now. Definitely grab a jacket. A north-northwest wind at 5, and as we take a look at your day here, we are going to be looking at uh, 50s through 9 a.m., and then right into the upper 60s throughout the afternoon. So overall, a beautiful forecast all around Kern County. There is so a great. little bit of a warm-up on the way for us, but we'll talk more about that in just a bit. Nothing we can't handle, no. though. No, I, and I'll say below 100 degrees. So that's and good. below what we typically see for fair time. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Usually this the cooler is great. weather comes after the fair, you know. Yeah. This is perfect before timing. Yeah, we're uh, getting lucky. You have a busy morning ahead of you. Busy morning? You're going to be running all over this place. Yeah, so uh, I'm off. All right. We'll can't see wait you to see where we field. find you. All right. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks, Kev. All right, so let's talk about everything you need to know for the fair. Again, this is day three. Still plenty of time to come out and have some fun and grab some fair food. The fair runs through next Sunday, September 29th. And today, the hours are 10.30 a.m. through 11 p.m. Next Friday, the hours will be 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays, the gates open at noon. They close at 11 on Saturday, 10 on Sunday. And during the week, you can enjoy all the fair has to offer between 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. All right, and here's a reminder if you want to get into the fair, adult passes are $12. Seniors get in for nine bucks, and kids six through 12 get in for five. And then kids younger than that get in for free. You can also get in for free if you're an active or retired military member. All you have to do is just bring your ID. And you can also get cheaper tickets online, by the way, if you buy them online before you come. This is super easy. Adult passes are 10 bucks. Kids 6 through 12, just 4 Buy your ticket and get a QR code. You can either print it out, bring it with you to the gate, or just use your phone to get in. You can buy those at kerncountyfair.com. Plus, there you will find an entire schedule of all the fun events for the fair. All right, joining us now this morning is Janet Sanders. Of course, she is here with the Kern County Fair. And Janet, good morning. Thanks for joining morning. us this morning. Good morning. All right, it is, of course, early right now, so things are still quiet, although it is amazing. Maddie and I were just talking. You get here early in the morning, and you still see how much work goes on behind the scenes here at the Kern County Fair 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. We have people working, yeah cleaning the streets and making sure it's ready for the next day. So, of course, this is a great, you know, we're at the beginning of the fair season. What's new this year? What's new this year? We have Bugology in Building 1, which is a whole bug display. Plus, you can eat edible um, bugs. And, you know, by the way, I've talked to some people. They say that it's they're actually tasty. They do. They're they taste like, kind of like sunflower seeds, but they're yeah. flavored. Mm. They're flavored like lemon meringue or lasagna. Sorry, lemon meringue? Yeah. Lemon meringue. A There's like a pizza bug. one. There's all of these different <laughs> kinds. It's a really popular exhibit this year. It's a very popular exhibit this year, and that's in Building 1, yeah. Okay, so what else can people expect when they come out this year? What's new? 103rd year. 103rd year. We have monster trucks this weekend. Oh, fun. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday, and that's always huge. Um, next weekend, we have the PRCA rodeo coming in. 
They, we have all sorts of fun food. We have lobster fries, which are mm. delicious. I hear those go really fast. They go really fast, and they're <laughs> and delicious. They're so I had some you had last some? night. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Night by night. I you can't wait. cannot build those up enough. I, no. mean, we heard, I heard so many good things about them. I tried them last night. Oh, man. Try them tonight. Every man. year, there's like something new, some new hot ticket food item. But there is. All the food here is. All so the great. food here, yeah. 12 days here, and you're like, oh. Oh, I'm yeah. Full. So full. <laughs> now, Janet, we got to ask you because, of course, there's a lot of concerns with safety this year, especially yes. after the uh, the mass shootings that we've seen in the past couple months here. Yes. Uh, first thing I noticed when I was here was the increased presence in security. How are you addressing, uh, you know, the security concerns here at the Kern County Fair? Well, this is the first year that we've had metal detectors, so they're actually using metal detectors and wanding. So people should allow extra time for that when they're coming on the grounds if they, you know, need to be somewhere in a hurry because it does slow down the lines slightly, but we're getting them through very quick. But, um, you know, the sheriffs, we've worked with the sheriffs and all of the emergency services to make sure that everybody that comes to the fair is safe. Have, yeah. you, have you seen any effect in attendance or anything like that? No, no, no. That's in good. fact, opening day was huge here with the... Um, Nelly yes. on the Budweiser Pavilion, yes. Yeah, that was speaking a of which, concert. we've had a great lineup of concerts this year. We have, we have. Tell us about who's coming up tonight. Tonight is Tracy Bird. Okay. Yeah. Country tonight. Country tonight. Country right. tonight. Right. County Fair. <laughs> yeah. I'm so ready. Actually, we are going to hang out after the newscast this evening, too, and enjoy the fair fun with all the family. I know so much work goes into this. Um, when do you guys start preparing for next year's? Right after we close. We start Literally next the 30th? Year. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, so much work goes into it. We do clean up and start so for the next it. year. Yeah. It's we year love it process. every year. Yeah. All right, Janice Sanders with the Kern County Fair. Thanks so much for joining us this You're morning. You're welcome. Thank really you for coming it. out. Yeah. Love being out here. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up later this morning, we're talking about one of the favorite food attractions here at the Kern County Fair, the famous Boy Scout baked potatoes. Yeah, we're actually going to have the Boy Scouts join us later this morning on Sunrise. It's right after this. Need help? Call Precision Garage Door. No extra charge for nights and weekends, and one of the best warranties in the business. And that's why we promise Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Rocco. And Sarah. Here for Guarantee Shoe Center. New fall shoes are arriving daily. Great styles from our best companies like Alegria, Born, Clarks, Earth, SAS, Soft, Softwalk, Bionic, and more. Everything from special shoes with slip resistant soles. Short boots, mid boots, flats, little heels. Way too many dimensions. Come see all this new at Bakersfield Best Shoe Store. Guarantee Shoe Center, 21st and Chester downtown. Where else? While no one can skip the middleman and buy a new Chevy direct from the factory, you can sure come close at Richland Chevrolet in Shafter. Our low overhead cost advantage allows bigger discounts that give that sweet factory direct feeling. We've extended our Labor Day sale and the deals are even sweeter all month this September only at Richland. Find the deals and savings on all Silverado, SUVs, and more. At Richland, we're all about giving our customers huge savings in a comfortable and stress-free environment. Visit today, call, or see our website for proof of great deals and savings. Injured on the job? Worried you can't afford a lawyer? Call Barry Smith & Bartell, where there are no upfront fees. We only get paid if we win your case. Barry Smith & Bartell, bringing justice to injured workers. 17 News Live at the KC Fair is brought to you by Kern Research and Strata Credit Union. 
Hepburn Research, partnering with our community to make a difference in the medical field of research. We invite you to participate in a clinical trial that's aimed at understanding, preventing, and curing the disease that affects you and your loved ones. To schedule your free pre-screening appointment, call us or stop by our local office in the heart of downtown. All qualified participants receive free medication at no cost, reimbursement for time and travel, and free doctor visits. We are your local Kern Research. 661-864-7710. Welcome back to our special edition of 17 News at Sunrise, live from the fair. All right, we're going to take a look at your top stories this morning with 17's Olivia Lavoie, who woke up very early this morning to bring you today's top stories. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, guys. All right, now let's take a look at some of the top stories that we're tracking on this Friday morning. The Josh Turner Band won't be performing at the Kern County Fair Monday night. Tragedy struck the band early yesterday morning. A tour bus carrying crew members crashed on Highway 46 in San Luis Obispo County. The crew was heading to a concert in Washington State when the bus went off the road and crashed into a dry river creek, a dry riverbed. The crash killed the band's sound engineer, David Turner. Many reports say he is not related to the singer. No word on what caused the crash, but the CHP has ruled out drugs and alcohol. Josh Turner and the band were in a different bus and were not hurt. Fair organizers say country singer Phil Vassar will be performing now instead. You may recognize Vassar from hits like Carlene, Six Pack Summer, and Just Another Day in Paradise. A domestic disturbance ended with a car crash and a man shooting himself. It happened around 6 last night on Stockdale Highway, just west of Gosford Road in southwest Bakersfield. That's just across the street from Cal State Bakersfield. Police say an argument between people in two cars likely started in another place and ended with the crash in southwest Bakersfield. Two people in the blue car were not hurt, but police say the man in the red car shot himself. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital. He is in critical condition. No word on how he's doing this morning. We're getting a clearer timeline now of when the McFarland Jail will close down. The Department of Corrections is leaving the facility at the end of the month. It's part of the state's effort to phase out private prisons. The prison is owned by Geo Group. On Tuesday, the company sent a notice about mass layoffs that could begin in mid-November. 130 people will lose their jobs, including 84 correction officers. When it was first announced, uh, the Corrections Department said inmates will be moved to other state prisons. The notice states this action is expected to be permanent. Today is National Palmia Recognition Day. That stands for Prisoners of War Missing in Action. Our Kern County veterans are in our nation's capital for honor flight. They left yesterday and return tomorrow. The organization is asking you to welcome home our heroes when they get back. Their flight home is scheduled to arrive at 8.45 tomorrow night at Meadows Fields. Now let's take a look at your morning commute. Right now, the roads are pretty, pretty much all clear, so if you're getting ready to head to work, should be an easy drive. We will have another look for you at traffic in a little bit, and we will check back in with top stories again in about 30 minutes. All right, thanks so much, Olivia. All right, well, you know, there's so many things that, of course, are here at the Kern County Fair. Livestock, though, seems to be one of the biggest hits. Absolutely. A lot of local students put a lot of time and effort into preparing for these 12 days at the Kern County Fair. And coming up next, we're going to take you inside the livestock barn. We're going to check in with Kevin. He'll be live with some students as they get ready with the Future Farmers of America program to show their animals. Need backup power as part of your emergency plan? During an outage, a backup power source can keep the lights on, help medications stay refrigerated, or power life-saving medical devices. Learn more at safetyactioncenter.pge.com. Welcome to Far Medical Group, a family medicine group where we are focused on creating long-term relationships with patients and their families while also providing quality, compassionate care. We take pride in listening to your questions and encourage our patients to have an open dialogue about their health. We provide routine wellness exams, disease prevention, and treatment. It's our goal to listen to you, earn your trust, and exceed your expectations. The best medical group by far and far from ordinary. 
Are you and your family ready for an emergency? pg and &E wants you to plan ahead by mapping out escape routes and preparing a go kit in case you need to get out quickly. For more information on how to be prepared and keep your family safe, visit pge.com slash safety. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 Music Sunrise. Hey, auto DIYers. If your vehicle's AC isn't working, you're going to use a can of R134A auto refrigerant to recharge it. Before you do, visit cashinthecan.com. Learn how to do it right, get your deposit back, and help the planet. Visit cashinthecan.com. Sometimes, the most powerful medicine in the world is the simple comfort of home. At Interim Healthcare, we understand that. And for more than four decades, we've been helping families and their loved ones find their way home. To a sun-filled room, a caring touch, or a smile from someone who means the world. Interim Healthcare. When it matters most, count on us. Call Interim Healthcare today. Hey, auto DIYers. If your vehicle's AC isn't working, you're going to use a can of R134A auto refrigerant to recharge it. Before you do, visit cashinthecan.com. Learn how to do it right, get your deposit back, and help the planet. Visit cashinthecan.com. All right, welcome back everyone to the Great Kern County Fair as we gear up for day three. It's going to be an exciting day out here, especially first, uh, you know, this is the first Friday before the weekend. Absolutely. 12 days of the fair, but months and months going to preparing for the kids in the 4-H and the Future Farmers of America programs. So we're checking in with Kevin. He's found his way into the livestock barns and he's catching up with some of those students to find out what all goes into this and see some of the animals they'll be showing later on during the fair. Sounds morning, like they're Kevin. active too this morning. <laughs> Oh, they're definitely active. Yes, we're in the swine show ring right now. And you can hear Lamborghini in the background. I'll tell you, these kids work uh, year-round to get uh, ready for the Kern County Fair. It has arrived, and uh, now it's showtime. And I want to come over to Catherine. She's a senior at Garces, part of the FFA program. This is Lamborghini. Lamborghini not too happy about uh, waking up this early, but it's okay. I sound just like that when I have to wake up uh, that early. So, Catherine, talk a little bit about FFA. You're a senior. How long have you been doing it, and what's the ride been like? This is our second year with an FFA at Garces. It's been amazing to have it get started. We have 22 exhibitors, so it's very nice to see a lot of kids coming out here and showing. So it's your second year. How hard has it been to raise a lamb? Um, I've been raising lambs since I was very, very young, and so it's kind of just part of my daily routine now. So. But rewarding. Very. Well, we wish you the best of luck in showing. And then we've got lamb to swine. And th this little guy just wants to go all over the arena here. So we're going to come on over to Lindsay. Uh, she's a junior at Garces, also part of the FFA program. And, uh, Lindsay, who do we have here? We have Carter this year. We have Carter, and we're going to be tracking Carter. So how's it been raising Carter? Oh, it's been fun. I enjoy every moment of it. It's a lot of hard work and dedication, but... It pays off. And pigs kind of have a mind of their own, right? But you say Carter, he's pretty well behaved. He's pretty chill. <laughs> Probably because he's got a good handler, right? Oh, yeah. What's the most rewarding part about FFA? And, you know, this is only the second year at Garces, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, the most rewarding part's probably seeing all your hard work and, like, blood, sweat, and tears pay off when you come to fair and um, just seeing, like, how it all turns out in the end. Well, we wish you the very best in the end. I know you guys will be showing soon. So, again, these, these kids work really hard to raise their animals, whether it be a sheep, whether it be a pig. Where, you know, they just, it's around the clock effort. And then they're balancing their schoolwork all at the same time. So pretty incredible that they can do it in one big package. And they're enjoying the weather, I'll tell you that much. It hasn't been too hot. In fact, uh, a lot of folks out here this morning in a jacket. Let's talk about your weather forecast on this finally Friday. It is going to be another great day at the Kern County Fair. And you can see temperatures this morning are nice and comfortable. Bakersfield, 
I'll tell you, you might want to grab a jacket if you're heading out. Uh, currently, you're at 61 degrees, 56 out of Delano. And into the mountains, definitely grab a jacket, 43 in Tehachapi, 53 for Lake Isabella. Satellite and radar showing you clear skies, no changes out on that front. Uh, the front that has been bringing us the cooler weather is lifting a little to the north. We're going to see a gradual warm-up as we head into Sunday, but tomorrow still looking very nice around the area. We're looking at 58 right now in Fresno, the Bay Area about the same, 65 in Los Angeles. Angeles and San Diego. Vegas, a nice morning, 66. And then this afternoon, we'll warm things up a little bit. Sacramento at 85, Fresno in the mid-80s, and then 70s and 80s south. Vegas, nice weather there if you're going to be heading that direction. 84 degrees. As we take a look at the overall pattern, the uh, first system that I was talking about is continuing to push off to the east. And then we get a little bit of ridging from the west as we head into about Sunday and Monday. So on the extended forecast, you are going to see a little bit of a warm-up. We won't see uh, as much of a cool-down with the next trough because it's going to be a little position to the east of us. Here's a look at our numbers for today, though. Perfect. Bakersfield should be at 82 degrees this afternoon, 83 in Buttonwillow, 80 in Maricopa. Then for the mountains in the Kern River Valley, a still a little bit of a breeze. Could be we're looking at winds gusting at 25, 30, 69 in Fraser Park, 71 in Dachby, and then near 80 for the Kern River Valley, 77 Lake Isabella, Kernville at 79 for the desert. Not a bad day, just a little breezy still. Winds gusting to around 40 and a high of 80 out in Mojave. Your extended forecast tomorrow, warmer at 89. Sunday, 94. We get a little break on Monday for the first day of fall at 87, then right back in the 90s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So today, tomorrow, great for the Kern County Fair in terms of temperatures. Mountain forecast, we're in the upper 70s tomorrow, lower 80s on Sunday. And then next Tuesday, Wednesday, we may see a slight chance of a shower in the afternoon. We'll start sunny and possibly a few clouds coming in in the afternoon, and that'll be the same for the Kern River Valley. Temperatures uh, up a little bit on Sunday, right near 90. So, again, talking to fair folks, it has been great for the start of the Kern County Fair. Another great day with these lower 80s. You really couldn't ask for a better start. Maddie and Alex, we'll send it back over to you guys. The, the weather is just unbelievable yeah. here at the Kern County Fair. Love I mean, it. Again, I, I was talking to Tammy last night. We cannot remember a fair where the weather has just been this uh, perfect. I mean, really, perfect. I feel like perfect. a few years ago we had really nice weather to start off, but then it got hot again. But so far, this seven day, it's been it's great. It's been perfect. So, yeah. Pretty excited about that. All right. Well, of course, there's a lot of hard work that happens to make all of the livestock exhibits and shows go on here at the fair. And we know that those livestock exhibits have a close spot. And Tabitha's heart, she's going to show us some of the heart that goes into putting on those exhibits. I'm very excited to see America's favorite couple fight it out. I thought you loved me! Mom and Dad are fighting! <laughs> the Voice premieres Monday and Tuesday on NBC. Guess hell froze over. Do we want to settle or do we want to win? Is she's up into two years worth of work. Your ex is the chief of detectives. Did you break his heart? You broke his heart. Love City Law premieres Monday on NBC. At El Pollo Loco, you can expect more. More fire-grilled, more handcrafted, more made from scratch. And more is what you get with crunchy chicken taquitos. One of five new $5 fire-grilled combos. El Pollo Loco, feed the flame. Sunday night football in the Browns. Yeah, it's been a while. 2008, back when Sarah Marshall was in theaters. And the song playing around the country was... But this game is making up for lost time. Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football on KGET TV 17 is brought to you locally by Young Woldrich. You can't always react to everything that's in front of you. That's why the 2019 Nissan Kicks has standard automatic emergency braking that helps you stop tech that Honda HRV and Kia Soul don't have. Experience kicks only at your local Nissan store. Now get 0.9% financing for up to 36 months or save up to 1500 on the 2019 kicks.
We were headed to the park, she pushed the door, and there was a huge crash. Spring brakes are the most common repair that we do. Trucks are fully loaded, so we can take care of that problem and get you on your way. And that's why we promise. Precision door service, a name you can trust. At El Pollo Loco, you can expect more, more fire grilled, more sea salt crunch, more creamy queso, and more is what you get with our chicken nachos. One of five new $5 fire grilled combos. El Pollo Loco, feed the flame. Welcome back, everyone, to the Kern County Fair as we get ready for the first weekend here. Of course, this is a really busy weekend because there's a lot of shows happening, especially in the livestock area. And there is so much work that goes into showing these animals. And it's work you're very familiar with, having kind of grown up in these livestock barns behind us here. Yeah. Um, showing animals through different fairs. So tell us a little bit more about how yeah. that goes. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can hear it behind us. You yeah. hear trucks in here. You hear yeah. people moving around. It's early morning. It's, it's late nights it's a lot of work and it would be difficult for anyone but imagine now you have a medical diagnosis a, a, fra a medical uh, fragile child who could have to go to the hospital at any moment that's the reality for two young showmen here at the Kern County Fair but thanks to their 4-H group they're able to do what they love there's no other place 11-year-old Aspen Vandy Kirkhoff and 14-year-old Cole Vandy Kirkhoff would rather be. Because it's fun. The animals. The friends? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is their second year showing lambs at the Kern County Fair as a part of Kern Valley 4-H. When you're shown in the ring, you're working with your lamb and you're seeing all the work you've done with your lamb and how much you improved with him. Hard work for any kid, but especially these two. So both kids have been diagnosed with a mitochondrial disease, um, which involves a whole lot of um, issues within the body, including dysautonomia, neuropathy, cyclic vomiting. Um, they're unable to regulate their temperature, um, and they both have uh, immune compromised issues. At first glance, nothing seems wrong, but if you look closer, you'll notice the cooling vest they wear and their fellow 4-H members constantly by their side. And that's really the struggle because they do look normal, um, but they can crash pretty quickly and when they do crash, um, it's pretty scary. If Aspen or Cole crash, they have to be rushed to the hospital. Nothing is easy for them. Cole and Aspen take a huge regimen of um, supplements and medication every morning and night um, just to sustain a day, to make it through a day successfully. It's called a mitococktail. And so both of them have like 22 medications morning and night to get down before they even start their days. Knowing all of that makes this so much more special. It's allowed us to allow other people in to help them and they've developed some really amazing friends through that. I work with um, my team. I love to be a part of a team and your team um, supports you and helps you a lot. These, these kids all rally around one another and a positive experience for those kids is a winner for all the rest of us. I don't know, it's a pretty amazing program. This 4-H group this family proving nothing can stop you when you work together. Don't set limitations on them. Don't live, don't live in a bubble. You've got to be able to experience as much life as possible. Let them do what they want to try to do. Let them experience what they can. Because it's actually kind of easy in a way, and it's also a little bit hard, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it. Colin Aspen want to thank their 4-H group and everyone here at the Kern County Fair, the Sheep Committee that has helped them uh, show because as you saw in that story right there, it's a reality that they might not have if it weren't for these great people around yeah. them supporting them. And yeah. it's so great because sometimes I think a diagnosis like that can kind of isolate you from yeah. your peers and this is bringing them back into having all those friendships and that support system, which is amazing. Yeah, and every kid needs that. You heard their mom say that it's let, allowed them to let people into their lives. 
realize that's so cool. that's just only great for the kids, right? It's yeah. hard, but I mean, it's already hard work as it is, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, well and, good luck to them. Yes, yes, and they are going to maybe join us. Uh, oh, great. great. If they're feeling up to it uh, in the six o'clock hour, we'll see Cole and Aspen here so we can ask them how the first couple days of fair have been. Fantastic. Can't wait to meet them. Thanks so much, Tab. All right. Well, it is, of course, the first anniversary of the KC Farm, which was a huge hit last year. Yeah, and we're going to check in with Vanessa Dillon. She's going to see what's cropped up in the last 365 days. We're back with more Sunrise Special here at the Kern County Fair after this. Aching, the stabbing, the shooting pain. Don't suffer another day or miss another good night's sleep due to your back pain. Can't see your regular doctor? First Choice Urgent Care is here for you and can see you today. First Choice Urgent Care, Panama Lane and Ash Road. The new Sporty GLC. Come on, we're so late. Great. It fights traffic. There's no parking. I told you. No, oh, a spot. We'll never fit. It fights tension. Seriously? Did you take my phone? Passenger light on. It even fights fighting. Innovation that keeps people together. The 2020 GLC. Lease the GLC 300 SUV for just $4.79 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's Weatherby's Retirement Sale. After 98 years of the furniture business, the Weatherby's family has decided to retire. This is a complete wall-to-wall -wall furniture sell-off. Every living room, bedroom, and recliner. Every dining room, sectional, and mattress. Every lamp, occasional table, and picture. Everything will be sold. Hurry in for best selection. Don't miss this complete inventory sell-off event. After 98 years, the Weatherby's family is retiring and would like to thank all of our loyal customers. Weatherby's Furniture, Chester and 7th in Bakersfield. Carpet Outlet Plus, every day is sale day. Carpet Outlet Plus Fall Flooring Sale is on now. New waterproof floors are in stock and ready for immediate install. Maybe you need new carpet in the bedrooms. Here at Carpet Outlet Plus, you don't have to wait for weeks to get your new floors. With the largest selection of in-stock flooring, the best price, and legendary customer service, why would you go anywhere else? Come see us today, three and a half blocks west of 99 on Rosedale Highway. The coughing, the aching, the sneezing. Not sure if you have a cold or the flu? Don't self-diagnose. Can't see a regular doctor? First Choice Urgent Care is here for you and can see you today. First Choice Urgent Care, Panama Lane and Ash Road. From the Kern County Fairgrounds, the rides, exhibits, music, and of course, the food, 17 News is live. Brought to you by Strata Credit Union. Ask about Casasa Check-In. And Kern Research. Clinical trials with paid participation to qualified applicants. Good morning and thanks for joining us here at 530 for this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise live from the Kern County Fairgrounds. All right, so we are, of course, getting ready for the first weekend at the fairgrounds. And Kevin, you have got a great forecast. I think a lot of people are going to be taking advantage of this advantage of oh, this it's forecast. Oh, going to be packed it here. Is, especially at <laughs> night. I mean, it's just been gorgeous out here. Yeah, yesterday evening was perfect down here. And beans, it's Friday. Yeah. And temperatures are expected to be in the lower 80s again. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very busy night here at the Kern County Fair. And why wouldn't it be with the weather that we're having? Uh, and uh, we are going to see a little bit of a warm-up heading into the weekend. And so if you're, uh, you know, if the heat isn't your thing, then I would say tonight is definitely the night to come on out. 61 degrees right now. A lot of folks said uh, this morning even have a jacket on out here. And east-southeast wind at 5 miles per hour. So we take a look at the fair day forecast. Uh, heading into the uh, 10 a.m. hour, 69 degrees. Uh, sunny at 11 and 78. And then by 4 o'clock, look at that, 83 degrees. You just can't beat it. And then for the mountains, definitely grab a jacket this morning. 43 under calm winds. We will see the breeze pick up again this afternoon. Afternoon, starting out in the lower 50s, 58 by noon, and by 3 o'clock, a little bit on the windy side and a temperature of 62. So all around Kern County looking at some very nice weather, and we've got a lot more to show you around the Kern County Fair. We were talking about the FFA program at Garces and the sheep and uh, the, the lamb and the pig, and now I think I get to go maybe try something sweet. Yes. Oh, all right. I've been waiting all food, morning food. for the food to show up. <laughs> yeah, so Starving. that's where I'm headed next. All right. I can't good. wait. Wait, you better. 
bring it back. Please share. I'm please so share. busy. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance uh, to get back. Oh, you, you, you will figure find it out. time, okay? Okay, right, let's right. see what I can do. Well, and, okay. you know, and speaking of food here at the Kern County Fair, that's what a lot of people come here to, to take advantage Fair of us, definitely. is that greasy fair food that everyone loves. Oh, yeah. Deep but fried, all that. There is a different kind of food cropping up here, thanks to Casey's Farm. And this is something that was new last year. It's an educational opportunity for students. It's really cool. Um, now in its first year, though, there we are going to check in with Vanessa Dillon, and she is live from Casey's Farm to show us how it's been going for the last year. Vanessa? Good morning, guys. You know, obviously, it is no secret we're all loving the food out here. I know my mouth is still watering over those lobster fries I had earlier this week. But the good news and the great positive to this is Casey's Farm is actually making healthy sound a little more interesting and giving it this new spin kids are going to get the opportunity to try wholesome foods in a fun way <laughs> the good old kern county fair also known as a food lovers paradise mm. but the fair isn't usually where you go for well healthy fair that was until last year when casey's farm cropped up now picking the healthy choice should be a no-brainer <laughs> This is unlike any other sort of classroom setting. Casey's Farm is a partnership between the Edible Schoolyard Kern County, Grimway Farms, and the Kern County Fair. Kids get the chance to learn how to grow and prepare wholesome options while also enjoying fresh food straight out of the garden. There's an, ex there's an experiential piece that provides the kids a hands-on um, academic experience where they're able to see what they're eating and how it grows and how it benefits them and how it provides a, a healthy lifestyle for themselves. It's giving visitors a glimpse of the colorful veggies that normally end up on your dinner table while also providing an interactive experience for kids. The partnership with Grimway and the Grim Family Education Foundation, we've been able to start producing some tours that will be probably instituted in the uh, fall after fair time and have kids come over from the local schools, Sequoia, um, Wayside, which are close by that don't have farms, and then that way we can um, show them how to do a, uh, ag education in the classroom right here on the um, fairgrounds. So maybe to go along with that turkey leg, stop by Casey's Farm to add a little color to your life. Uh, there's always time for fair food. There's that 80-20 sort of perspective, uh, but this is a great experience for them to come in and see this and um, enjoy some of the new things that are happening in Kern County. So, you know, parents watching at home, if you plan to make your way out to the Kern County Fair more than once, maybe try to skip out on the fried food here and there, or in addition to having that fried Oreo, maybe stop by Casey's Farm, bring your kids, they're going to love it. And of course, this is going to be open. Casey's Farm will officially be open for students within the next six months. So, you know, guys, it's a great opportunity. And like you said, Maddie, educational for sure. I love the idea that I can get them a side of veggies before they go have their corn dog. I'm not going to lie. Well, and of course, it's just so local, too. And it's so great to have that educational experience and show yeah. everyone here, especially those kids, mm -hmm. about all of the, the, the fruits and vegetables that yeah. grow here locally. So it's great. Yeah, it's a really cool thing that we've got. All right, well, there is an opportunity for everyone to come to the fair today. But, of course, uh, there is an opportunity for a group of people to get in for free mm -hmm. today. And, of course, today is Senior Day at the fair. And anyone 62 years old or better gets in to the fair for free today. And the gates open today at, uh, again, around 1030 today. And uh, seniors can get free, get in for free and parking. They'll get free parking as well until 4 p.m. So, again, uh, and then the gates open at 9 a.m. this morning. So just be aware of that. And then there's also going to be free health screenings that will be offered by Dignity Health. Uh, today as well. So again, senior day at the fair today, free admission and parking for those 62 years old and older. And you know, there are several free days um, for different groups. Um, there's always the canned food day. So just check out our website, kget.com. We've listed all of those days. You can also find it on the fair website to find out which day you want to come down um, or, you know, just come on down and enjoy this beautiful weather any night. Absolutely. All right. Well, we have a very special guest joining us this morning. We have, are you ready for this? Paul the Parrot and Mr. Monk's joining us this Good morning. morning. Good morning, sir. Tell us a little bit about what
what you guys are doing here at the fair. Well, we're here in the kids' zone, and we've got Captain Jack Spare Ribs, who runs all shit. <laughs> and we're having conversations with uh, Paul the Parrot. Hi, that's me. I'm Paul the Parrot. All okay, right. All right. Uh, they say I have a big nose, but that's uh, a personal problem. <laughs> It now, looks beautiful to me. I was going to say, you're very colorful, Paul. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. You look very uh, bright and cheery this morning yourself. <laughs> so what do you think about the Kern County Fair so far, Paul? Oh, it's great. I've seen cows and pigs. There's pig races next yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen pigs race before, but I have now. And what do you think about those pig races? Well, they're really cool. I like the ones that win the best. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Monks, where can we find you guys? We're over in the kids' zone. We have a great big pirate shipwreck. We're on KC Loop. On That's KC a, I don't know Loop. what that That's means. Right. It sounds like Fruit Loops to me. That's right, Paul. <laughs> Paul's a little more Fruit tuned Loops. to direction than I am. <laughs> I hope he's steering the ship. Yeah. Well, he's in the crow's nest. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and it's so a shipwreck, can... by the way. Oh, yeah, don't look for a real true. ship. Oh. It's a shipwreck. Sorry. You guys are right. stationed here at the Kern County Fair. Then you're not going to be, you know, oh, yeah. going off anytime soon. No, we'll him be here the whole soon. entire ride. Right. All right. All right, a lot of fun, Mr. Monks, Paul the Parrot. You can find them on Casey's Loop, having a lot of fun with all the kiddos coming out to the fair and yeah. with us this morning on Sunrise. Thanks, Paul. Well, thank, thank you. you, Mr. Monks. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All nice right. Nice to meet you guys. Well, of course, we're having a lot of fun here at the fairgrounds, and we've got, again, day three is That's about right. to get underway in just a few hours. Yes, and uh, coming up next, we're actually going to check back in with Olivia LaVoyce live in the 17 News studios with today's top stories. Important news for women who were administered chemotherapy intravenously for breast cancer and then suffered permanent hair loss. Some women administered the breast cancer chemotherapy drug Taxotere have suffered from permanent hair loss on scalp, eyebrows, and eyelashes. If you suffered permanent hair loss after chemotherapy for breast cancer, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call now. Operators are standing by. Recently, a friend asked me if I still enjoyed being intimate. And the truth was, I didn't. I was so unhappy. So, I looked into it and found a solution that changed my life. Mona Lisa Touch is a safe, clinically proven therapy that addresses the painful symptoms of menopause. Because I deserve to feel like myself again. So do you. It's okay to talk about it. Sing Family Medical Clinic, 661-365-0022. Sunday Night Football and the Browns. Yeah, it's been a while. 2008, back when Sarah Marshall was in theaters, and the song playing around the country was... But this game is making up for lost time. Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football on KGET TV 17 is brought to you locally by Young Wooldrich. Need help? Call Precision Garage Door. No extra charge for nights and weekends, and one of the best warranties in the business. And that's why we promise... Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. The Red and Gold Zone. A oh, weekly we look into everything Niners. We will go through rough patches. We gotta deal with it. Highlights, Heartman. interviews, players, coaches, and what's next. We feel a lot more confident going into this year. The Red and Gold Zone. Brought to you by Hungry Hunter Steakhouse. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Prestige Properties Team Tipton. When you're ready to buy or sell your luxury home, give us a call. Welcome to the city, Motor City. Get ready for model year closeout. Right now, save up to 5800 on GMC Canyon. Save up to 10000 off select GMC Sierra HD Denali models. Or claim 12.5 in total savings on a new custom-lifted Sierra Crew Cab. Model year closeout means professional-grade deals at California's largest volume GMC dealer, Motor City. Welcome back to our special edition of 17 News. It's Sunrise Live at the Kern County Fair. It is 542 on this Friday. And we're just having so much fun out here, of course. Gates are going to be opening in a few hours this morning. And uh, so still a lot to talk about this morning here from the great Kern County Fair. But first, we're going to turn things over to Olivia LaVoyce, who is holding down the fort in the KGT studios with a look at your top stories on this Friday morning. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, guys. Thank you. 
All right, now we're going to take a look at those top stories that we're tracking. The Josh Turner Band will not be performing at the Kern County Fair Monday night. Tragedy struck the band early yesterday morning. A tour bus carrying crew members crashed on Highway 46 in San Luis Obispo County. The crew was heading to a concert in Washington State when the bus went off the road and crashed into a dry riverbed. The crash killed the band's sound engineer, David Turner. Many reports say he is not related to the singer. No word on what caused the crash, but the CHP has ruled out drugs and alcohol. Josh Turner and the band were in a different bus and were not hurt. Fair organizers say country singer Phil Vassar will be performing now instead. You may recognize Vassar from hits like Carlene, Six Pack Summer, and Just Another Day in Paradise. A domestic disturbance ended with a car crash and a man shooting himself. It happened around 6 last night on Stockdale Highway just west of Gosford Road in southwest Bakersfield. That's just across the street from Cal State Bakersfield. Police say an argument between people in two cars likely started in another place and ended with the crash in southwest Bakersfield. Two people in the blue car weren't hurt, but police say the man in the red car shot himself. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital in critical condition. No word on how he's doing this morning. And we're getting a clearer timeline on when the McFarland Jail will close down. The Department of Corrections is leaving the facility at the end of the month. It's part of the state's effort to phase out private prisons. The prison is owned by Geo Group. On Tuesday, the company sent out a notice about mass layoffs that could begin in mid-November. 130 people will lose their jobs, including 84 corrections officers. When it was first announced, the corrections department said that inmates will be, bo will be moved to other state prisons. The notice states this action is expected to be permanent. Today is National Palmia Recognition Day. That stands for Prisoners of War Missing in Action. Our Kern County veterans are in our nation's capital for honor flight. They left yesterday and returned tomorrow. The organization is asking you to welcome home our heroes when they get back. Their flight home is scheduled to arrive at 845 tomorrow night at Meadows Field. All right, taking a look now at your morning commute. We are just getting word about a hit and run on Sunset Boulevard. Um, not a lot of details on that incident just yet, but we'll continue to keep you updated on that once we know more. That's it for now. We'll have another look at today's top stories in about 30 minutes. All right, thank you, Olivia. All right, well, of course, we've got a lot of fun happening this morning. We're going to check in with Kevin and look at your forecast. And what he's found to eat this morning. Maddie wants it. November starts the clearance countdown event at Bill Wright Toyota, where every car, truck, and SUV are priced to sell now. Take advantage of a $2,000 rebate on Camry, the number one selling sedan in America for the last 18 years. Or get 1.9% long-term financing on RAV4, the number one selling SUV for four straight years. There's even a $1,000 rebate on Tacoma and a $3,000 rebate on Tundra. Don't miss the clearance countdown sales event at Bill Wright Toyota. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota. Let's go places. You say you wanna shake the world. Big dreams start with small steps. But dedication can get you there. So just start small. Start saving. Easily set, track, and control your goals right from the Chase Mobile app. Do it. You just got to do it. Chase, make more of what's yours. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. It's Star Furniture's anniversary sale with tremendous savings of 30% off on our everyday great pricing. Or finance your purchase with no interest financing for 48 months and receive a 15% discount off your purchase. Many of the savings are from top brands such as Flex Steel, Pulaski, Hooker, and more. Great savings on furniture for the dining room, living room, and bedroom. Great savings on mattresses with brands such as Serta. Take advantage of great savings during this special event at Star Furniture, 4209 Rosedale Highway. Roscoe and Sarah here for Guarantee Shoe Center. New fall shoes are arriving daily. Great style.
materials from our best companies like Allegria, Born, Clorox, Earth, SAS, Soft, Softwalk, Bionic, and more. Everything from special shoes with slip resistant soles, short boots, mid boots, flats, little heels. Way too many to mention. Come see all this new at Bakersfield's best shoe store, Guarantee Shoe Center, 21st and Chester downtown. Where else? some breakfast. Yes, yeah, some breakfast. And I think Maddie wants him to share his breakfast really this jealous. morning. Because where, what is he having for breakfast this morning? Well, he's at the Willamette Pie Company. And let's go ahead and show you where exactly this is. It is, uh, there There he is, There's popping Kevin. up by <laughs> Willamette Pies. I believe this is a couple from Oregon. Um, and they have been coming for the last few years to the Kern County Fair. It's one of my favorites, Kevin. You're exactly right, and this uh, is kind of close to home. Willamette Valley isn't far from where I grew up, and so, yes, it's uh, nice to come and see some folks from Oregon, uh, kind of my neck of the woods. This is the Willamette Valley Pie Company, and they have a lot of tasty treats. If you're going to come out to the uh, Kern County Fair, I want to bring in Michael uh, Compton right now, and him and his wife, Stephanie, have been doing this for... Quite a long time. How long have you guys been in this venture together? About seven years just doing the pies. We've been doing all the fairs for about 20 years, though. So talk a little bit about what we have here yeah. on our display, because yeah. you guys don't just do pies, it looks no, like. You do cookies no. and everything. Exactly. So pretty much we've got mini pies, we've got turnovers, we've got you know full pies and slices, we've got cookies, we've got three different kinds of cookies, and actually we're going to throw a few more in there this weekend. Some cobbler. This is a cake batter cobbler. Uh, we specialize in marionberries, which you probably know from Longview up yep. there. Uh, we've got all kinds of different flavors. Oh, and this year, we started doing uh, a key lime pie. We spent some time down in Florida. Wow. And decided to do key lime pie, yeah. So you're out here, and yes. Steph's uh, back there working really hard right now. She's actually, I see her in the back. She is actually getting some of these pies ready for the day. Again, it is a baker's life. They get up early, and they got to be prepared and ready to sell uh, by the time the fair opens later today. And they have such a cute trailer. You know, I was a big fan when I was a kid watching I Love Lucy, and uh, the trailer somewhat themed around I Love Lucy, which I love. But it's so cool to see folks from actually pretty far away, Willamette Valley, coming here to the Kern County Fair. Thank you so much, Michael. Looks delicious. And again, a beautiful day for the Kern County Fair with temperatures back into the 80s today. Let's take a look at temperatures right now. And uh, we are in the 60s. You might want to even grab a jacket if you're going to be heading out and about uh, right now. 61 in Bakersfield. 50s up to the north and then 40s into the mountains. As we take a look at the uh, overall satellite radar. Not much to show you. The trough that we've been talking about is pushing off to the east and that means uh, we're going to see a little bit of a warm-up as we head into the weekend. So these nice temperatures are going to somewhat kind of creep back up on us, uh, especially as we head into Sunday when those 90s return. As we take a look at the temperatures right now around the region, 50s and 60s all around. We've got 58 in Fresno, 66 in LA, San Diego, 65. And then today, uh, we're still going to be very nice in the temperatures, 85 in Sacramento, Fresno about the same, 70s and 80s to the south with Los Angeles right near 80. As we take a look at the overall pattern here, we are going to be looking at this low to kind of push to the east, and then a ridge will kind of build on in here as we get closer to Sunday. So we're going to see somewhat of a flex in temperatures, but uh, definitely a little bit of a warm-up is in store for us. So if you've been enjoying the uh, lower 80s, yesterday we are in the upper 70s. Uh, unfortunately, that is kind of all going to come to an end. Here's a look at the numbers for today, though. Bakersfield will be right near 82 degrees. I say that's perfect fair weather. Just a light breeze throughout the day out of the northwest at about 5 to 10. Uh, uh, 82 as well into Wasco, 83 in Butt Willow. For the mountains in the Kern River Valley, I do expect the breeze to continue a little bit for today up your way, but temperatures are going to be nice and comfortable. We're looking at mid-60s out of Pine Mountain Club, 71 in Tehachapi, upper 70s, lower 80s for the Kern River Valley. Lake Isabel at 77 with Kernville 79. Weldon, 81. Also a little bit on the breezy side for the desert, and uh, you can see these temperatures will be right near 80 for Mojave, and winds could gust near 40. Here's your extended forecast. Tomorrow, 89, and then 94 on Sunday. But things kind of fall back a little on Monday as we uh, ring in fall, and then 90s return by Tuesday and Wednesday. Take a look at the mountain forecast. Also, a little bit of a warm-up. We'll be in the lower 80s by Sunday. 70s return, though, by Monday. And then for the Kern River Valley, we're back into the 80s, upper 80s 
by Sunday. Back out here live, we're at the Willamette Valley Pie Company. And you know what? It doesn't surprise me that I can be super far away from where you guys are. And our crew, our fine reporters, you we stand in the background. Why don't you come in? They're trying to they're trying to take over my live shot because they smell pie. Imagine it's, that. It smells so good. You can smell well, it. Literally, we were away. like standing right behind our camera, our photographer, and we were like, okay, what is that? That smells <laughs> like heaven. Right I had now. to keep them in check. They almost took over Stephanie back there and started stealing all her pies. Well, who doesn't love I Love Lucy and pie? I mean. Sounds like a great combination. Yeah. I can't wait to try some. I hope I know. we can try some. She things. is back there working hard. Again, if you're the pie type of guy, pie type of lady, this would be the place to be. Willamette Valley. It's nice to see somebody kind of close to my hometown, guys. Just don't eat all the pies. There's got to be enough I for know. people coming here. <laughs> and the cobbler and the turnovers and the cookies. Is your mouth it's all so good. I'm so I'm ready. All right. Well, with all of the, here at the fair, you know, there's so much fun. There's so much food. It's just it's just difficult to juggle it all. It absolutely is. But I think we know someone who can. Look out. Something ridiculous is joining us next with a preview of the show that you can catch later on at the fair. <gasps> the Golden Empire grows and your stories unfold. We're here as we've always been. Your leading source for important information. 17 News. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is a local choice for your financial needs. But just because we're local doesn't mean you can't take us wherever your travels or life may be. Beyond traditional banking, Kern Schools also offers the latest in mobile and digital banking, as well as access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide. Simply download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. And as we continue to grow, our focus on providing greater convenience to make your life easier and better will not change. Kern Schools, serving our community for more than 80 years. One good choice today can change your tomorrow. Kern Family Healthcare. It's a 60-year love affair, as passionate as the day it began. It's where the dream and the reality are one and the same. It's safety in its most exhilarating form. It is the 2020 E-Class, the quintessential Mercedes-Benz, made new all over again. Lease the E350 sedan for $5.59 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Protect Roof Savers is now offering Roof Max. Think you need a new roof? Think again. Save 85% of the cost of replacing your roof with Roof Max, the world's first treatment scientifically formulated to resaturate dry and brittle roof shingles with all natural soy fusion technology. Extend the life of your roof up to 15 years guaranteed. Roof Max is non toxic and 100% safe for the environment. Looking to replace your roof? Protect Roof Savers can do that. Call 760 Roof today. It's that time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today. For welcome routines and bringing everyone together again. It's feeling like fall, and we can't wait to share every morning with you. Welcome to today. We've got something ridiculous here. <laughs> Liter literally, we have something literally. ridiculous here. We've Usually got Mark we are, here but from they are today. Ridiculous. Well, hey, good yeah. morning, guys. Hey, good morning, Mark. And, uh, Mark, you, I think you may have someone who could join your show. You, you think uh, Maddie can I, help I, me I, out? I, I'm thinking I'm Maddie can help me out. I'm definitely ridiculous. So, <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do here? Okay, I think maybe you can hand Maddie one club at a time. Oh, this might be so up in the air to the me. Break. You at Maddie, home you are definitely going to want to watch this because this could be very Don't interesting. Don't worry, this isn't right, live, so you can mess up, Okay, right? great. Oh! That's oh. one. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's two. Right over here. Oh! There's oh, two. There we go. All right. A little more spin this time. Okay, I'm trying. Same hand. You've got this right here right now, Maddie. Here we go. All right. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's not your fault. <laughs> okay, here we go. The pressure's on, Maddie. Don't, don't, here we go. Stop the it. pressure's on. Hey, there we go. Hey. 
Okay, so she can officially join your team now, right? Well, let's see if she can catch first. Okay. Uh -oh. Coming back at you, Maddie. I'll be the catcher back oh, here. I did it. All right, now, Alex, you need to catch me. Ready? Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm coming for you! Whoa! Oh, man. Whoa. Actually, that kind of scares me. <laughs> Nicely done. So where can people catch your show? Well, you can find us today at 4, 6, and 7.30 and on different stages, and we're here every day, three times a day. Okay, and it's not just you. No, I work with another partner, his name is Bon John, and it is a ridiculous show. <laughs> I'll be on the giant unicycle, he'll be on a circus ladder, we're gonna juggle knives, we're gonna light stuff on fire. So I actually Woo. saw you guys a little bit last night. I have to say, every time you do these shows, yeah. I know you are the pros at this. You give us all a little you bit of a heart attack, me. though. No. <laughs> Well, you think you're scared. <laughs> well, it's true. That's true. We're not the one six feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> We're still getting better every time. So. Well, it's just so much fun. And again, you're going to be out here throughout the fair, right? That's right. Every day. Don't miss the show. Okay, Something ridiculous. Again, 4, 6, and? 7.30. On the but which stage? Today we're going to be on the main plaza okay. stage and the good time stage. Okay. But check your schedule. You can sure. find yes. us here you every day. You can when you walk in the, the gates. And the uh, fair. you think she's ready? Can or I get on that? Come on, this pays During way break? better than your job, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know. He can probably compete. <laughs> All right, so again, Mark with Something Ridiculous. Thanks so much for coming in this Thanks, morning. Alex. Really Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Maddie. Thank you, Mark. You. We appreciate it. Can't All wait right. to see the show tonight. We hope to see you down at the fair. Okay, yeah, I'm going to bring the kids down. All That's right. right. She'll be here tonight. All right, we're back with more coming up after this. <laughs> I'm Patrick Beck. Buying a car can be stressful. If you're in the market for a vehicle, I ask you to consider my team and me at Bakersfield Hyundai. We promise to help you find the perfect vehicle that fits your budget and to be respectful of your time and your schedule. If you don't like your initial decision, just bring it back and we'll exchange it for something else. Over the years, we've helped thousands of people in Kern County drive away completely satisfied, and we'd love the opportunity to help you. Come see us today, and don't forget the name to remember. Bakersfield Hyundai, Bakersfield Hyundai. Sunday Night Football and the Browns. Yeah, it's been a while. 2008, back when Sarah Marshall was in theaters, and the song playing around the country was... But this game is making up for lost time. Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football on KGET TV 17 is brought to you locally by Young Woldrich. We were headed to the park, and she pushed the door, and there was a huge crash. Spring brakes are the most common repair that we do. Trucks are fully loaded, so we can take care of that problem and get you on your way. And that's why we promise. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. If you've been injured on the job, call the local lawyers at Barry Smith & Bartell. We've recovered millions of dollars for injured workers. And there's no fee unless we win your case. Barry Smith & Bartell, bringing justice to injured workers. From the Kern County Fairgrounds, the rides, exhibits, music, and of course, the food, 17 News is live. Brought to you by Strata Credit Union, Ask About Casasa Check-In, and Kern Research, clinical trials with paid participation to qualified applicants. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise live from the Kern County Fair. It is Friday, September 20th, 2019. Man, I gotta say, I think you did pretty good out there. I was pretty terrified, and you guys, you guys didn't get to see what happened during break when he first made me try that, and I hit I myself it, in the head once I heard it and knocked my head? hat off a second time. I heard it went over your head and stuff. I did that one time. I threw it behind me, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly talented. <laughs> Very talented. Anyways, we're having a lot of fun out here this morning. And you know what's great is that we have still have so much more fair to go. Uh, you know, we've got a full week coming up. Yeah, and uh, we were just at the pies. And uh, I think Tabitha is uh, going to be buying some of those pies and bringing them back. I had to hustle back over here. And then, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. She's joining us delivery. right here. She's joining us right now. Hi. Special Hi. delivery for Maddie, I think. Oh, <laughs> That's chocolate pie. I've never had their chocolate. That is oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. Oh, 
Thanks. All right, Kevin, get your All forecast right. so we can eat. I'm going to talk about favorite. the forecast again. That's from Willamette Valley Pie Company, kind of my neck of the woods in uh, Washington and Oregon. We're going to let them try a little bit of the pie, and we're going to get to your forecast as Maddie <laughs> indulges in the chocolate. <laughs> it's Maddie. At, what time is it? 6 a.m. Is it? Is it delicious, Maddie? She's in heaven. Pure heaven right now. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the forecast. We'll see how much is left once we're done. Uh, it is a little bit of a cool morning. A lot of folks that have jackets on out here. We're now at 60 degrees in Bakersfield. Uh, we had a light wind, and it uh, really hasn't been bad. Out of the southeast at about 5 miles per hour. As we take a look at the Faraday forecast, I think you're going to like it once again. We're going to start out 10 a.m. Again, today is Senior Day. Seniors get in for free, free parking. A lot of great things happening for the seniors. Dignity Health is out here giving free screenings and letting them the letting the seniors know about resources that are available to them so come on out and be a part of that we're at uh, 78 degrees by 1 p.m and by 4 we'll be right near 83 so you can't beat the weather as we take a look at the mountains 41 degrees under a calm wind right now and you can see the hour by hour forecast in the mountains will be in the mid 60s by noon and then right near 70 throughout the afternoon so another beautiful day around Kern County and another great day for the Kern County Fair. Oh, and Maddie has moved on from chocolate to the Mary pie. and Berry pie. Oh, okay, man. now I've got to try the Mary and Berry pie. You know, one thing you're noticing in this, I'm talking, I'm the one that did the live shot, and they're eating the pie and didn't even offer, no, that's oh. second thought. Didn't even offer me a bite of the pie. Well, Kevin, we I'm, can all you share. We're, we're one big happy family you, here. Did you hear Alex? You're a busy worker. Hey. <laughs> mm. Oh, man, that is delicious, though. You I'll try it? No, you try were a working. Later. You get, you no, get no, longer I'm breaks. I'm totally so. joking. I'm going right. to try a little bit day. later. I'm Can glad you guys find something else to eat, right? No, seriously, yeah. right off of the pie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go find something else to eat. That's, no, I, there's two. I can't handle this. Okay. <laughs> I've got pie, but I'm also going to be headed to another area that's maybe not as, um... Appetizing? Uh, some people huh. disagree and say well, that it is appetizing. Some people like it? A lot of people I've talked to oh, like that it. Place. Uh, that place. And I'll be uh, definitely bringing you back a they taste They have test. lemon meringue pie flavored crickets right here. <laughs> really? So if you so don't want that pie, pie you get the you lemon know, meringue. Just All right. Well, that's where I'm headed next. Okay. So we'll see what happens. I can't wait to hear how it goes. All right. Thanks so much, Kev. Yeah. All right, so we're talking about all there is to enjoy at the fair. Of course, today is day three, so plenty of time left. The fair runs through September 29th. That's a Sunday. Today, the hours are 1030 to 11 p.m. Next Friday, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays, gates open at noon. They close at 11 Saturday night and on 10 on Sunday. And during the week, you can enjoy all the fair has to offer between 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. All right, and here's what you need to know to get into the fair. Tickets are $12 for adults, and seniors get in for $9, except for today. Today is senior day, remember that. And kids 6 through 12 get in for just 5 And then kids younger than that get in for free. And you can also get in for free for active or retired military. All you have to do is just bring your ID to get in for free. Or you can get cheaper tickets if you buy them online. Adult passes are $10 and kids 6 through 12 are 4 And just buy your ticket to get a QR code and then you can print it or just save it on your phone if you want to. And then you just basically come up to the fairgrounds and then check in. You can buy those at kerncountyfair.com. And plus, a whole schedule of events for the fair can also be found on that website as well. All right, joining us again this morning, Janet Sanders with the Kern County Fair to talk a little bit more about what goes into putting on the fair, all of the hard work leading up to this. How are you feeling so far, Janet? Great. Day three, we've made it this far. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit, I was going to ask you, because the fair is always offering new things. Uh, what's new this year? What's new this year? We have all sorts of new foods. Mm -hmm. um, there's a deep fried caramel apple pie. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? I, it's, I it's, haven't it's, heard of that it's, yet. It's wonderful. Fried pie? <laughs> Speaking of deep fried, I even saw a deep fried cheesecake yesterday that oh, someone man, that's tried. Nice. Yeah. Someone tried a deep fried mm. cheesecake. Deep fried cheesecake? I could go for that. Okay. Yeah. What else? We have, a, of course, we have bugology going on. He's going there yes. soon. Yes. Which is super fun. The kids will love that. It's a huge display in building one. So that's one of our new attractions for this year. Um, we're having monster trucks this weekend, Saturday and Sunday at the first grandstand, and just all sorts of new stuff going on. What Casey's Farm is much
much larger now. I'm going to use this microphone for her. Yeah. Sorry about that, Janet. I'm just going to hold it for you. You're good. Casey's Farm is much larger now, so everybody needs to go and visit Casey's Farm and see the edible garden there and all sorts of things going on here at the fairgrounds. Let's talk about what you guys do to prepare for security because we know that has been um, something you've been focusing on a little bit extra this year we with have. Um, you know recent shootings across the country yes. um, and we have the metal detectors now. How's that going? You know what? It's going very smooth. Um, people just need to allow extra time okay. getting through the gates, but we have metal detectors at every single entrance here. We've worked with emergency services and have an emergency plan in place, so I think people can feel very safe coming out to our fair. Is is it causing a backup at the entrances or anything? Of course it's causing a little bit, so that's why we want to let people know to allow extra time okay. getting onto the grounds, especially this weekend. Yeah, if you were coming for a show or something yeah, like that, allow to make extra sure time. you can get yeah. there in time. Yeah. And I just want to reiterate too, just because I've been here for a couple of days, the security, the, it, there is a noticeable difference in the there increased is. security. It's not just on, in the fairgrounds, but also I've noticed even Sheriff's deputies walking around the perimeter too to make sure everyone's safe. Exactly. There is an emergency plan in place, so everybody okay. should feel free pretty good about coming out tonight from the Absolutely, county fair. Yeah. All right, Janet Sanders, well, thank you so much You're for joining us this morning. You're welcome. We thank certainly you appreciate guys. the hard work that goes into this. Thank you. All right, well, of course, we're talking about food all morning long. Maddie, how's that pie? Is it still tasting pretty good? You want me to take another bite? You can take okay. another bite. All right, but, of course, there's another huge hit at the Kern County Fair, and that is the baked potatoes. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk to the Boy Scouts about those potatoes coming up after the break. DIYers already here. The cash in the can .com polar bear with the 411 on recharging your auto AC right, getting your $10 deposit back, and helping the planet. If your AC isn't working, you're going to buy a can of R134A refrigerant. When you do, make sure you recharge it right so you don't leak the stuff into the air. Then finish your job by cashing in the can within 90 days, empty or not, to get the $10 deposit you paid when you bought it. Learn how to recharge right and get your deposit back at cashinthecan.com. GEICO makes it easy to get help when I need it. With licensed agents available 24-7, it's not just easy. It's having Jerome Bettis on your flag football team easy. Go get him, bus! <laughs> Come on, bus. Come on. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, man, I got the flag. I got your flag, man. I got your flag. It's GEICO easy. Yeah. With licensed agents available 24-7. 49 nothing. <laughs> Change can happen when you choose it. You can choose treatment and change your addiction to opioids. Medication Assisted Treatment, or MAT, is a proven treatment for opioid addiction that significantly reduces the rate of relapse. Covered by Medi-Cal, Medicare, and many private insurance plans, MAT is even available through primary care doctors. Choose a proven treatment option that's right for you. Learn more at choosemat.org and choose Change California. You can't always react to everything that's in front of you. That's why the 2019 Nissan Kicks has standard automatic emergency braking that helps you stop. Tech that Honda HRV and Kia Soul don't have. Experience Kicks, only at your local Nissan store. Now get 0.9% financing for up to 36 months or save up to 1500 on the 2019 Kicks. 17 News is coming to you live from the Kern County Fairgrounds. The ride, the exhibit, the music, and of course, the food. 17 News, live at 5. At Burger King, get to snacking and saving for just a buck. Get six crispy nuggets, one crispy taco, or three cheesy mozzarella sticks for just a buck each. Snack like a king for just a buck. Now that's snacking and saving only at Burger King. Welcome back here. It is 612 and it is bustling out here at the Kern County Fairs and the livestock barns. You can see everyone's up and at work already. You know, it's, it's 
incredibly busy for these people, of course, in the livestock area. <laughs> and for the cows. For the cows, too. Uh, because, you know, they, they've got a busy weekend ahead of them because shows start tomorrow. They do. Them. Yeah, and we're going to talk more about that coming up in a few minutes. But we do want to send it back to Olivia Lavoie in our 17 News studio. She's got a look at today's top stories on this Friday. Hey, Olivia. Hi. Thanks, guys. All right, so tracking those top stories, the Josh Turner Band will not be performing at the Kern County Fair on Monday night. Tragedy struck the band early yesterday morning. A tour bus carrying crew members crashed on Highway 46 in San Luis Obispo County. The crew was heading to a concert in Washington State when the bus went off the road and crashed into a dry riverbed. The crash killed the band's sound engineer, David Turner. Reports say he is not related to the singer. No word on what caused the crash, but the CHP has ruled out drugs and alcohol. Josh Turner and the band were in a different bus and were not hurt. Fair organizers say country singer Phil Vassar will be performing instead. We're getting a clearer timeline now of when the McFarland Jail will close down. The Department of Corrections is leaving the facility at the end of the month. It's part of the state's effort to phase out private prisons. The prisons is owned by Geo Group. On Tuesday, the company sent out a notice about mass layoffs that could begin in mid-November. 130 people will lose their jobs, including 84 corrections officers. When it was first announced, the Corrections Department said inmates will be moved to other state prisons. The notice states this action is expected to be permanent. Today is National Palmia Recognition Day. That stands for Prisoners of War Missing in Action. Our Kern County veterans are in our nation's capital for honor flight. They left yesterday and returned tomorrow. The organization is asking you to welcome home our heroes when they get back. Their flight home is scheduled to arrive at 845 tomorrow night at Meadows Field. Taking a look now at your morning commute, we are getting an alert about a collision on northbound 99 at Olive Drive. Looks like traffic is currently stopped in that area. There's also a collision off of Cecil Avenue. The injuries uh, at this point are unknown, but we are looking into details of that incident now and we'll update you when we know more. Well, that's all we have for now. We'll take another look at your top stories in about 30 minutes. All right, Olivia, thanks for holding down the fort for us. <laughs> all right, of course, we're talking more fair food this morning. We've done sweet, now how about a little savory and maybe crunchy? Yeah, well, of course, we have the Boy Scouts joining us coming up after the break. This portion of 17 News is sponsored by Brian Hicks. Sell your home for only 3.5% total commission. Call 477-HELP and save thousands. You've made the decision to sell your home. Now what? Brian Hicks Real Estate Group will get you proven results. Brian Hicks is now ranked number one in the state and number 18 in the nation for individual home sales in the last 12 months. That's 255 houses listed, 255 houses sold. For only 3.5% commission, you'll spend only half in traditional commission fees. Brian became a broker to cut out the middleman and pass the savings on to you. Go with the best in Bakersfield. Call 477-HELP and save thousands. Has it been 20 years already? Well, happy birthday to us. Join Bakersfield Heart Hospital as we celebrate 20 years of healthcare excellence. We'll have food trucks, entertainment, and games. We'll have free health screenings for cholesterol, glucose, blood pressure, diabetic foot screenings, and more. Don't miss the Bakersfield Heart Hospital 20th Anniversary Celebration and Health Fair, Saturday, September 28th at Bakersfield Heart Hospital. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. At Kia, 3,000 employees are working hard each day to build the best vehicles for our drivers. From our intuitive tech right down to the turn signal, we hold ourselves and our cars to the highest standards, which is why we made sure the Sportage has lane-keeping assist and forward collision avoidance. Well, standard. Hurry into Haddad Kia today or visit yourkia.com to learn more. 17 News Live at the KC Fair is brought to you by Kern Research and Strata Credit Union. Have you noticed that banking is this big corporate thing? To these mega banks, they're just an account number. And no one seems to even notice you're so wrapped up in other things? Well, snap out of it! 
There's a movement to take back control, to take back financial freedom, to take back banking. Kasasa is checking that rewards you for doing everyday things that you're already doing anyway. So join the movement. Take back banking with Kasasa. Switch to Kasasa checking at Strata Credit Union. Welcome back to this special edition of 17 News at Sunrise Live at the fair. The one thing we can't get enough of, fair food. But this is a little, little different take on fair food. It's just a little different, but I know a lot of people are, of course, loving it. And it is the new Bugology exhibit here at the Kern County Fair in Building 1 here on the fairgrounds. That is where Kevin is live this morning. We'll show you exactly where he is on this uh, Friday. And as you can see, he's right there. Again, there Building 1 Talking at the Bugology, Bugology exhibit. Let's check in with him for a look at that new exhibit, plus your forecast. Good morning, Kev. Are you going to try a bug, Kev? Yep. <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to see. But I'll tell you, this exhibit is really cool and educational for the kids. You really have to come in here. You get life-size bugs. And again, it's all about conservation. And Will joins me right now with Bugology. And he's got Twinkle Toes, his little friend right now. And uh, the, talk about Twinkle Toes first, because this is a tarantula, but a rare type of tarantula. Yeah, she's a Chaco Golden Knee tarantula from South America. And uh, you can tell she's a Chaco Golden Knee based off the different appendages, the knees. They're a golden color. They come in various colors. There's also Mexican Red Knee. There's Tiger Striped. But she's rare because of how big she is. The size is very hard to find out in the wild. They don't usually live this long. So we're very fortunate to have her. And I think there's a misconception about tarantulas. You know, there's been movies made. You get bit by a tarantula, you die in 30 seconds. Tarantulas are pretty docile animals. Yeah, depending on the species, you can definitely have more docile ones. You also have more aggressive ones. So I would never just go up to one in the right. wild. But she is an awesome ambassador. We actually let kids hold her. So you can come out, get a chance to hold her while we're here at the fair. And even see maybe one of our other large bugs that will show how large... Hopefully they don't get unless they're in the movies. But. And also you have a butterfly tent for the kids. So there's a lot of different activities they can take part in. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we have the butterflies. We also have bug tasting so people can get a chance to try what edible bugs are like, especially with how much protein they have. Or, of course, the butterflies are great for those who are just trying to figure out that bugs are okay. And, you know, it's a nice, easy way into bugs and how they are amazing. And you can definitely uh, taste some bugs. We'll get to that in just a second here. Let's talk about our weather forecast as well. I'll tell you, it's just been beautiful for the Kern County Fair, and today is going to be no exception. We are expecting another beautiful day. We're at 60 degrees right now in Bakersfield, uh, even a uh, light jacket needed. 42 in Fraser Park, 41 in Tehachapi, and then we have 50s up into the Kern River Valley. Skies remain clear around the area. No changes on that front. The system that we have been tracking is moving to the east, so we will see a slight warm-up as as we head into the weekend, in fact, uh, by Sunday, uh, we will start to see those 90s uh, come back. So that's something we're going to have to look forward to. But definitely seeing temperatures kind of up and down. You can see around the state today, 58 in Fresno and 61 out in the Bay Area. And then 60s uh, down to the south currently. So a nice, comfortable start around the area. And then daytime highs will be a little bit warmer this afternoon with 85 out of Sacramento and Fresno. And then 70s and 80s to the south. 84 in Los Angeles. Uh, I mean, Las Vegas. Po folks there are just going to love this forecast. Now, the first system moves on out. We do see some ridging out to the west. It'll build on in for the weekend. Uh, again, we will be back into the 90s by Sunday. So if you're looking for a cooler day to come out to the Kern County Fair, I would say today is the best day to come on out when we're seeing the cooler weather for sure uh, before we start to see the temperatures rise just a little bit. Let's take a look at the day, uh, temperatures for today. And again, Bakersfield should be right near 82. Yesterday, we were in the upper 70s, so just slightly warmer today. We'll look for a light wind out of the the northwest at about 5 to 10, but overall 82 in Bakersfield, uh, 83 in Button Willow, and then Maricopa at 80. The mountain forecast today, do expect the winds to pick up a little bit throughout the afternoon. They've been calm this morning, uh, but they will pick up, and we could be w looking at wind gusts right around 30. 69 in Fraser Park, 71 in Tehachapi, and then upper 70s for the Kern River Valley. 77, Lake Isabella, 79 in Kernville, and then for the desert, I do expect it to get a little bit breezy there today as well, where we could see winds gusting right near 40 and a high of 80 in Mojave. Here's your extended forecast. If you're looking what day to come out to the fair, tomorrow, 89, 94 on Sunday. We drop it back just a little bit on Monday, but then right in the 90s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And then for the mountains, we'll be looking at a little warm-up day by day with lower 80s by Sunday. Back out here live, I want to kind of show you around really quick about what bugology is all about. And you can see these little areas that are set up. And look at that. We even have almost... Uh, 
uh, an oversized fly, and he actually buzzes. And so everything here in Bugology is very interactive. And so that's why you got to come out and check it out. Okay, this is what Maddie's been wanting to see. And yes, you can uh, if you come to Bugology. There are things that you can purchase, including, yes, crickets. And they have all types of flavors that you can purchase. And Maddie, I come right over here. And what is in this little cup is a piece of a cricket. Okay, and, the, and you have all flavors, right, Will? Yeah, we have a variety of flavors, whether you like mango, mango habanero or cool ranch. We have lots that you can try. All right, and this is ranch. Are you guys ready? Maddie, you ready for this? Okay, here it goes. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Moment of truth. I just ate a cricket that I usually feed my bearded dragon <laughs> at home. So now we can have dinner together. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. I've tried How to cook it. How it? doesn't taste too bad. How is it? We're going to start crunchy. calling you a buried dragon calf. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. Well, I probably. That makes sense. Crunchy? <laughs> crunchy? Oh, my God. It doesn't taste bad. It's a little different. Oh. Yeah, just make sure you floss later I'll bring tonight, you some. okay, Kev? I'm you, get the you legs out of your teeth. <laughs> All right, hey, bring Yay. bring Twinkle Toes for Maddie. All right. Well, you can wash it down, <laughs> Kev, if you hurry back here, because coming up next, Fabe's churro and gelato is going to join us here on set. It's the dessert everyone talks about at the fair. Phil, join us after the break. 17 News Sunrise Interview is brought to you by Kern Schools Federal Credit Union. Together, we have something special. Kern Schools Federal Credit Union is a local choice for your financial needs. But just because we're local doesn't mean you can't take us wherever your travels or life may be. Beyond traditional banking, Kern Schools also offers the latest in mobile and digital banking, as well as access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide. Simply download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. And as we continue to grow, our focus on providing greater convenience to make your life easier and better will not change. Kern Schools, serving our community for more than 80 years. I can't imagine being on vacation, then all of a sudden... Coming home a bit up. You do not believe that your husband died of natural causes? I believe that somebody murdered him. All I could think of was that my husband was going to have to identify me, and he wouldn't be able to because there wouldn't be much left. A daytime exclusive. The police have come out to say that I didn't really have any injuries. I was fine. All new Dr. Phil. Weekdays at 3, only on TV 17. Welcome to the city, Motor City. Get ready for model year closeout. Right now, save up to 5800 on GMC Canyon. Save up to 10000 off select GMC Sierra HD Denali models. Or claim 12.5 in total savings on a new custom lifted Sierra Crew Cab. Model year closeout means professional grade deals at California's largest volume GMC dealer, Motor City. This portion of 17 News is brought to you by Motor City Lexus of Bakersfield, who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. I remember when you first got your new pair of boots. So many precious memories. Can your carpet or flooring tell its own story? Then it's time to replace it. Floor Layers Emporium. on this finally Friday live here from the Kern County Fairgrounds. And we're trading our coffee in this morning for <laughs> some gelato. I think the sugar <laughs> will get us just as up and going. I think it already is. We already talked about how we're already jittery this morning because we've already had so much sugar. And to add to it, another sweet treat. And these are, of course, a favorite at the Kern County Fair. John Nash joining us from Fabe's Churro and Gelato. Good yeah, morning. Good morning. Thanks how for are coming you guys? in so early yeah. for us. Oh, yeah. Piece okay. of cake. So we, I, I show the popple cone yeah. on 17 News at 5 on Wednesday. You yeah. brought another one in because yeah. this is new this year at the fair. Correct. Yep. What is this? Uh, so this Creation. is our, we have these puffle sundaes. They're, um, we kind of themed them the same as our milkshake. So that's our Oreo puffle sundae. You can see has the real whipped cream, not from a can, oh. fresh made gelato. 
Puffle cones made fresh to order, so they do take a couple minutes to come out. And, what is the uh, puffle cone? So the puffle cone is kind of this new thing. They're uh, they're like a they're actually like a Asian. Um, they come from like an Asian background. They call them egg waffles or bubble waffles. Mm. We're calling them puffles, but they're like crunchy on the outside and gooey in the in the middle, and it's like a sweet batter, so it's really tasty. And then we're using them for ice cream. You can actually just eat them plain because uh -huh. they're just tasty. I had so many people comment on my Instagram and Facebook pages about the puffle cone. Oh, good. That that's it right there. That is it right there. Now you also have something uh, new this year, and yeah. it's these it's these drinks. Yeah. I have to say. These are very refreshing. They are. Uh, so uh, I got to give a shout out to the Base Co in uh, downtown LA. But um, they created oh, these flavors, and they're these fusions of fruit and flowers or herbs Whoa. and stuff. And uh, we have four flavors: hibiscus agave. That's what this you guys is, are drinking okay. now. We mix them. You can choose your mixer. You can mix okay. it with a. We just do a fresh squeeze lemonade that we actually fresh squeeze, unsweetened all the yeah. the sweeten and the Super taste good. is all in very the light. base itself. And and uh, there, yeah, we've got gooseberry marigold, Ooh. blackberry charcoal, Fun. and uh, one more strawberry shiso. That's what it is. Okay. So that's good. All right. Well, this is Fabe's churro and gelato. We've got the fruity pebble churros. We've got all these sundays, the churro cookie ice cream sandwich. Yeah. You just take all the desserts and just put them in. All one. the sugar you could ever ask for. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. We really appreciate it. You guys. Appreciate yep. it. Right. Oh, oh, I guess yeah, Tabitha's there gonna go. steal it. There's you your breakfast this morning. All you right. And that. of course, everyone talks about the fair, the food here at the fair, but we've also got another food group we're that's not yeah. sweet. We're talking some healthier fare yeah. at the fair, and Vanessa Dillon will join us live from Casey's Farm coming up next. County pop culture. Hot trends impacting the Golden Empire. Karen Walk keeping it popping with Popcorn. Fridays on Facebook, powered by 17 News. Popcorn's exclusive sponsor is Flame and Skewers Mediterranean Restaurant. This is the award winning Acura ILX. Designed for where you drive. Visit your Acura dealer for 0.9% APR financing for well qualified buyers on the ILX. A great deal of thrills and a great deal of spills. There's a great deal of horses and a great deal of squeals. There's a great deal of corn dogs, great deal of deals. There's a great deal of fun at the fair. There's a great deal of sights and a great deal of sounds and a little bit of strange and a great deal of wow. There's a great deal of things that don't cost anything. There's a great deal of fun at the fair. Supermarkets, KernCountyFair.com, discount parking at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Dear Finley, one day you'll ask why we chose you, and we'll tell you about your tiny broken heart, and the surgery, and those first months we could have never gotten through alone. That day, when you finally ask why we adopted you, our answer will be simple, because you are worth it. You are worth it. Valley Children's. Futures worth fighting for. This is the award-winning Acura ILX. Designed for where you drive. Visit your Acura dealer for 0.9% APR financing for well-qualified buyers on the ILX. We respect your opinions. We honor your trust. We tell your story. From your perspective. Your point of view. When you share your story with 17 News, you're contributing to the spirit of the Golden Empire. From the Kern County Fairgrounds, the rides, exhibits, music, and of course, the food, 17 News is live. Brought to you by Strata Credit Union. Ask about Casasa Check-In. And Kern Research, clinical trials with paid participation to qualified applicants. Good morning. Welcome back to 17 News at Sunrise Live from the Kern County Fairgrounds here at 630. We're having so much fun and we're a little we bit sugared up. How was that cricket, though? The cricket was actually pretty good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Crickets were really good. In fact, it was so good, I brought uh, Maddie oh, some no. crickets. Did I make a deal with you? You did I make a deal with me. So, Maddie, put out your hand. Put out your hand. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. There you go. 
Here, wait. Alex? Let's, can, we can, we, can we show? Can we show these on air really quick? I just want to eat one. I'm gonna walk up and let, let's walk up and show. Can we show these really quick? So I'll show you the bag. There's and what the flavor so is this? So there it is, right there. Uh, this is barbecue, I think, or something like that. Maddie, okay. I think we were. You All know, right, we talked we about how we were Moment wanting some protein this morning. Let me just morning. say, Maddie doesn't like bugs. As you all know, <laughs> you're gonna do it at the same time, uh, right? Yeah, right? Wait, you're doing all no, of you them. Yeah. Just gonna no, go. I'm one. One. No. Okay, one, okay. two, one. go. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Don't think about it. You're eating a cricket. She's eating a cricket. <laughs> How is it? Huh. Oh, you don't need my mic. You know, either, I don't. Right? I don't like the barbecue flavor. I'm not a barbecue you're not uh, a barbecue flavored bird? chip all flavor right. kind of guy. So is this yeah, more up your alley you. right here? Up. What? What do you think? They're good. They're actually really good. Yeah, they're good. I actually think they're good. I think it's one of those things that you can totally have fun with it. It's mine and not matter. It totally is because they are very tasty and they don't, it, it tastes like what, a chip? Yeah, it yeah I'd say a barbecue a, chip. Maybe a little drier of a chip? Yeah. 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 yeah so there you go. Bugology, uh, you can go try it. You can actually buy a whole vial of these and uh, they say they're uh, packed with protein. So there's our protein. We were wanting protein this so morning. <laughs> when I need a little pick me up later, I'll just eat my protein packet of crickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about the weather forecast for you on this Friday and it is another fair day and weather is been perfect out here no complaints we're at 60 degrees right now uh, in Bakersfield just a light wind out of the southeast at five as we take a look at your overall numbers for today for the Kern County Fair again it is senior day gates will open at 10 o'clock and uh, they're gonna be starting out with some very nice weather maybe even a, a light jacket with the upper 60s 78 by 1 and by 4 o'clock we'll be right near 83 as we take a look at the Tehachapi area 41 degrees right now the winds are calm and you can see throughout the day here we'll be looking at 59 by 10 a.m. and then upper 60s throughout the afternoon. So another great day for the Kern County Fair. And as mentioned, we are going to warm up a little bit for the weekend, especially Sunday with those 90s. But uh, today looking perfect for a Friday. You know what those taste like, those crickets? What? Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, That's yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. I've never had those, so I can't, never, can't talk about that. They're really not that bad. They're not. So. They're really not. It's just the idea. Like you said, it's... it's it's, it's the idea, the fact that, like I said, I have a reptile, I have a bearded dragon, and, and I eat feed feed crickets all the time. <laughs> so now me and Phoenix get to have crickets together. There you go. It's a <laughs> bonding snack experience buddy. for yeah, you guys. Yeah, my little snack buddy. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. Well, you know, we're talking about all the food here at the fair. Yep. We just had those crickets. That's yeah. one food group. All kinds of interesting things that we found <laughs> this morning. Well, we're going to send it over to Vanessa Dillon. She's live at Casey's Farm with uh, some healthier options for us this morning. Also, an educational opportunity for the kids and the entire family. Morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Alex and Maddie. Good morning, Alex and Maddie. You know, it's no secret that we're all loving the food here. We're even eating bugs out here. So, you know, you're, you can't really be surprised by anything at this point. But this year, Casey's Farm is giving Healthy a new fun spin, giving kids the opportunity to try out healthier options in a fun way. The good old Kern County Fair, also known as a food lover's paradise. Mm. But the fair isn't usually where you go for, well, healthy fair. That was until last year when Casey's Farm cropped up. Now picking the healthy choice should be a no-brainer. This is unlike any other sort of classroom setting. Casey's Farm is a partnership between the Edible Schoolyard Kern County, Grimway Farms, and the Kern County Fair. Kids get the chance to learn how to grow and prepare wholesome options while also enjoying fresh food straight out of the garden. There's an, ex there's an experiential piece that provides the kids a hands-on um, academic experience where they're able to see what they're eating and how it grows and how it benefits them and how it provides a, a healthy lifestyle for themselves. It's giving visitors a glimpse of the colorful veggies that normally end up on your dinner table while also providing an interactive experience for kids. The partnership with Grimway and the Grim Family Education Foundation, we've been able to start producing some tours that will be probably instituted in the uh, fall after fair time and have kids come over from the local schools, Sequoia, um, Wayside, which are close by that don't have farms, and then that way we can um, show them how to do a, uh, ag education in the classroom right here on the um, fairgrounds. So maybe to go along with that turkey leg, stop by Casey's Farm to add a little color to your life. Uh, there's always time for fair food. There's that 80-20 sort of perspective. Uh, 
but this is a great experience for them to come in and see this and um, enjoy some of the new things that are happening in Kern County. So parents watching at home, if you plan to make your way out to the Kern County Fair more than once, maybe you could try out the Casey's Farm and check it out. It's definitely such a neat experience for kids. And this is going to be open for students officially in the next six months. But I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys, Maddie and Alex. I think I could use something from Casey's Farm to wash the cricket taste hey, out of my there mouth. We're fine. All <laughs> right. Well, uh, there is, of course, a lot of opportunities for people to take advantage of deals and discounts here or even get in free to the fair. And today, it is senior day here at the fair. That means that people who are 65 mm -hmm. and older uh, get to come to the fairgrounds 62. today. 62. 62 and or older. Better. Or better, we should say. Uh, can come to the fair today for free until 4 p.m. PM today. So gates open at nine for people to come in and all you and parking is free as well. So again, free admission and parking for seniors 62 and better today until 4 p.m. for free. And that is only for today. That's right. And now we're talking more food because what else would we be talking here at the Kern County Fair? We've got some of the Boy Scouts. <laughs> who are joining us this morning to talk about the baked potatoes. We know everybody loves the baked potatoes. The lines at your guys' booth are always incredibly long. Um, so good that. morning. Thank you guys all so much for joining us. Okay, so we've got to say, can, can, you say, can you say hi, Mom? Can you tell your mom hi? Can you wave hi, your mom? Mom. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so again, uh, we got the Boy Scouts here. Now, you guys, of course, are always a huge hit every year at the fair. I know that last night you had a long line, and how many baked potatoes have you guys gone through today, or since the fair started? Well, we were so busy last night that we ran out of potatoes. So that's why you have some raw potatoes today. <laughs> You're going to be starting from scratch this afternoon. Yes. And you also have a bag of hot Cheetos. What are those these for? They're part of the new potato they're offering where they put hot Cheetos into it. Oh, man. Is that a popular one so far? It seems to be. Yeah, going pretty fast. So what are some of the other fun toppings that you can get on the baked potatoes? It depends on what kind of potato you want. You can get the chili verde, so they put like chili verde in it with like different toppings and stuff. It just um, all depends on what you want in your potato. Green onions and cilantro. Say that again? Green onions and cilantro. And then what else? What are your favorites? My favorite is the Boy Scout, which is a regular baked potato. We put butter in. Um, like chives and sour cream into it. It's my favorite. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is probably the mac and cheese potato with bacon Ooh. bits Ooh, on that it. Oh, uh, mac and cheese and bacon bits? That sounds amazing. What's yours? Mine is the works. It has chili, nacho cheese, bacon bits, and green onions. Okay. And a pack of sour cream. All right. And all right. you guys all come together, um, uh, several different troops come together to do these booths, right? Yes. And what does the money raised go toward? The money raised goes towards our campouts as well as some stuff that we need to like go camping and supplies and stuff like that. Awesome. Sounds good. What are your guys' favorite potatoes? Uh, what is your favorite potato? Butter. Butter? You just like a butter? Baked yeah, potato? Straight butter. Straight butter. All right. And what about, what about you? What is your favorite potato? But you just like butter on your baked potato? No. No? Just the potato. Just the potato. Plain he just potato. likes the plain potato. That's like not a bad it. option as well. All right. Well, come by and see the Boy Scouts. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. And uh, you better go get cooking, I guess. Yeah. And you got a little All work right. ahead of you. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for you coming. You guys have in. fun. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So the fair has such a rich history here in Kern County. Um, this is the 103rd year of the Great Kern County Fair. It started back on August 5th, 1916. According to the fair's website, it was located on 106 acres at Chester Avenue, two blocks north of 34th Street, just south of the Kern River Bridge. There weren't any buildings, so they used tents. And the fair moved to its current location at the fairgrounds in 1952.
All right, let's just take a moment to look around really quick because as you can see, it is a very busy morning here at it the Kern County Fairgrounds. It has changed a lot since we drove in yes. this morning to now. It's super busy now. And it's just another example of just how much hard work goes behind the livestock yeah. exhibits here yeah. at the fair. Yeah, I mean, the, the young people here put so many early mornings and late nights, just a lot of hours into their projects. I mean, it's hard for anyone, but imagine you had a medical diagnosis that could send you to the hospital at any yeah. time. Well, that's the reality for two young showmen here at the fair. But thanks to their 4-H group, they get to do what they love. There's no other place 11-year-old Aspen Vandy Kirkhoff and 14-year-old Cole Vandy Kirkhoff would rather be. Because it's fun. The animals. The friends? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> this is their second year showing lambs at the Kern County Fair as a part of Kern Valley 4-H. When you're shown in the ring, you're working with your lamb and you're seeing all the work you've done with your lamb and how much you improved with him. Hard work for any kid, but especially these two. So both kids have been diagnosed with a mitochondrial disease, um, which involves a whole lot of um, issues within the body, including dysautonomia, neuropathy, cyclic vomiting. Um, they're unable to regulate their temperature. Um, and they both have uh, immune compromised issues. At first glance, nothing seems wrong. But if you look closer, you'll notice the cooling vest they wear and their fellow 4-H members constantly by their side. And that's really the struggle because they do look normal. Um, but they can crash pretty quickly. And when they do crash, um, it's pretty scary. If Aspen or Cole crash, they have to be rushed to the hospital. Nothing is easy for them. Cole and Aspen take a huge regimen of um, supplements and medication every morning and night um, just to sustain a day, to make it through a day successfully. It's called a mitococktail. And so both of them have like 22 medications morning and night to get down before they even start their days. Knowing all of that makes this so much more special. It's allowed us to allow other people in to help them, and they've developed some really amazing friends through that. I work with um, my team. I love to be a part of a team, and your team um, supports you and helps you a lot. These, these kids all rally around one another, and a positive experience for those kids is a winner for all the rest of us. I don't know. It's a pretty amazing program. This 4-H group, this family, Proving nothing can stop you when you work together. Don't set limitations on them. Don't live, don't live in a bubble. You've got to be able to experience as much life as possible. Let them do what they want to try to do. Let them experience what they can. Because it's actually kind of easy in a way, and it's also a little bit hard, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it. And joining us this morning are Aspen and Cole. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. So, Aspen, you said you maybe wanted to say something to the people who have helped you. I want to say thank you to all the people who have helped me. And let's talk about the fair. How have the first couple of days been? They've been really good. Very well. Very well. What are you most excited about, Cole? I'm most excited about showing. Showing? What about you? I like the showing part, too. Well, I cannot wait to watch you guys show. Good luck. High fives. Thanks for joining us. And uh, have a good fair, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Good Thanks luck. So much, we can't yeah. wait to hear how you do. Yeah. Thanks for coming out for us so early. <laughs> Some cute kids there. It's adorable. All right. Well, we've had a lot of top stories to cover this morning on this finally Friday. We'll send it back to Olivia Lavoie coming up after this. <laughs> Yellow shirt. Aggie's yes. life comes down to a couple moments when you are in action. Go on a land. Mercy and Memorial Hospitals, part of Dignity Health. There comes a time when the experiences in your life matter more than the things in your life. When playing the game matters more than winning the game. And enjoying the day matters more than just counting the days. When that time comes, it's time to come to the newest gated, master-planned, active adult community from the original creator of Seven Oaks. 
Experience what matters most in life in Highgate Regents by Castle & Cook. Cracker Barrel makes every meal one to remember with favorites like Sunday Homestyle Chicken now available every day. And our new Sweet and Smoky Homestyle Chicken BLT for $8.99. Come on home to Scratch Made. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. You gorilla tape that? No, why? Gorilla tape. Of course. Gorilla tape is three times stronger for a hold that lasts. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. 17 at Sunrise is brought to you by North Bakersfield Toyota. Come test drive the all-new 2019 Toyota Avalon. North Bakersfield Toyota's 50% off sales event is back and better than ever. Toyota Avalon, 50% off, only $23.55. 10 Fusion, 40% off, $39.06. 10 Malibu, 30% off, $49.57. Toyota Camry, 20% off, $61.65. And 09 Chevy, 10% off for only $45.84. With cars, trucks, and SUVs up to 50% off of Kelly Blue Book value, this is a sale you don't want to miss. Only at North Bakersfield Toyota, Freeway 99 and 7 Standard. All right, welcome back out here at the Kern County Fairgrounds. We're having more fair fun after this, but why, right now we want to send it back to Olivia LaVoice in the 17 News Studios. Good morning, Olivia. Okay, we are getting a clearer timeline of when the McFarland Jail will close down. The Department of Corrections is leaving the facility at the end of the month. It's part of the state's effort to phase out private prisons. The prisons is owned by Geo Group. On Tuesday, the company sent a notice about mass layoffs that could begin in mid-November. 130 people will lose their jobs, including 84 corrections officers. When it first announced the closure, the corrections department said inmates will be moved to other state prisons. The notice states this act is expected to be permanent. All right, we are going to take one last look at the fair. Looks like you guys have had an amazing morning. All right, thanks, Olivia. All right, we got your forecast after this. What? Social Security denied your disability claim. Uh, what are we going to do now? I'm not able to work. Most initial disability claims are denied, but many of those same claims are approved on appeal if you have a good disability attorney on your side. I'm Charlie Oren. If your claim has been denied, don't give up. We have over 30 years experience getting disability claims approved, and we can help you with yours. Call us today. September starts the clearance countdown event at Bill Wright Toyota, where every car, truck, and SUV are priced to sell now. Take advantage of a $2,000 rebate on Camry, the number one selling sedan in America for the last 18 years. Or get 1.9% long-term financing on RAV4, the number one selling SUV for four straight years. There's even a $1,000 rebate on Tacoma and a $3,000 rebate on Tundra. Don't miss the clearance countdown sales event at Bill Wright Toyota. Doing it right for 49 years and still doing it right. Toyota. Let's go places. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, you're watching 17 News at Sunrise. Celebrating 35 years in Kern County, Bakersfield Family Medical Center Heritage Physician Network has been leading the healthcare industry in providing high-quality health care for our members. With our specialty programs, our network of primary care and specialist providers, and our focus on coordination of care for our members, we deliver the health care you deserve. Selecting BFMCHPN as your medical group is the smart choice to make. For more information on BFMCHPN and how to become a member, please contact 661-846-4662.
All right, it is going to be the first weekend of the fair, and the forecast looking nice. Oh, so beautiful today. A little cool this morning. Let's check in with Kevin and see what else fun, he, what other fun he's found out here at the fair in the carnival area. There he is, popping up around Main Street, and I think he's going to work off some of that food he's eaten so far this morning, Kev. Yeah, we are actually on a cool our mobile app here because we've got something fun we're going to try coming up in just a little bit. I am at the carnival area, and you can see the yummy food here that you can experience if you come on out. And right behind me is, yes, the fun slide. That is one of our producers, Trish. She's our internet uh, producer, and she is uh, working hard to dry off the slides up there because uh, we are all, me, Maddie, and Alex, are going to take a ride down these slides coming up in just a little bit. I'm not sure how it's going to go because uh, we've got a little bit of the dew on the sides and uh, that just doesn't work very well but we're trying to dry them so that we can have a little bit of fun at the end of the show so that's what you could look forward to me maddie and alex going down that side in just a little bit i want to talk about the weather forecast it has been beautiful i was out here last night temperatures are great we had a light breeze and uh, right now we're at 60 degrees in bakersfield we've got 55 in wasco up to the north we've got 56 uh, in delano and then for the mountains uh, we've got uh, temperatures in the 30s and uh, 40s. Want to take a look at the overall pattern for today. We've got satellite and radar showing very little activity. We will remain in the clear today. And uh, we, the system that's been bringing us that cooler air is moving a little to the east. So I do expect a little bit of a warm-up for the weekend uh, with 90s expected as we approach the Sunday time frame. But in the meantime, things are looking very nice around Kern County. Temperatures right now running into the 50s and 60s all around around the state and daytime highs today are going to be somewhat comfortable again uh, bringing it up just a couple of degrees uh, up near the north uh, San Francisco today will be uh, right near 79 85 in Fresno 70s and 80s to the south LA at 80 76 in San Diego and again on our overall pattern here and what we can expect I do expect the system that we're tracking now to move to, to the east there is another trough in place and that is going to be more on the back side of the state in the coming days so that's what's uh, going to allow for us to warm up a little bit with that ridge building back into the area. So unfortunately, the 70s we saw yesterday, lower 80s that we are going to see today are going to basically be out of here and uh, 90s are going to return. But we're kind of used to this uh, for the Kern County Fair. It's either rain or super hot. The good news out of all of this is we are not expected to see triple digits. Today, Bakersfield will be right near 82. We'll see lower 80s all around the valley, so just get out and enjoy it. 83 in Shafter, 80 in Maricopa. For the mountains and the Kern River Valley, I do expect the breeze to continue as we go throughout today, and uh, temperatures are going to be nice and comfortable whether you're in Fraser Park, whether you're in Tehachapi, or into the Kern River Valley. I think you're really going to be able to get outdoors and enjoy the weather uh, because, uh, again, and to Hatchby, looking at lower 70s for the Kern River Valley, upper 70s. And then for the desert today, we will be looking at sunny skies, but also a little bit of a breeze hanging around throughout the day. Uh, but again, temperatures will be in your liking. All right, we are back out here live this morning and again, having fun at the Kern County Fair. And uh, Maddie and Alex have shown up. Coming up, we are going to try to make our way down this slide on this is Friday morning. It could be a pretty funny sight to see. So we'll send it back over to the studio. Yes, it's a good day for singing a song and it's a good day from morning to night. Cancer Update with Dr. Ravi Patel. Here are a few facts about prostate cancer that you may not know. Many are surprised to learn that prostate cancer spreads to the bone in 90% of the men with advanced prostate cancer. A new class of drugs called biphosphonates help prevent prostate cancer from damaging the bones. Sofigo is another new radioactive drug used for the first time in Kern County for these cancer patients. When injected, it travels to the bones and releases strong energy that helps kill prostate cancer cells in the bones. This new cutting-edge therapy prolongs the life of prostate cancer patients and is now available at the CBCC Dignity Health Campus. We know you have questions and concerns, and we're here to help guide you through the process. Log on to cbccusa.com.
Car trouble? Tune in Monday during KGET's 5 p.m. news for Shop Talk with Richard Gautier from G&G Auto Repair. Repair and maintenance tips from Kern County's most trusted auto repair shop. Brought to you by G&G Auto Repair. It's that time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today. For welcome routines and bringing everyone together again. It's feeling like fall, and we can't wait to share every morning with you. Welcome to today. On September 28th, join the Bakersfield Police Activities League for the 5th Annual Car Show and Kids Festival at the Crest Bar and Grill. Enjoy cars, food, music, prizes, and law enforcement displays. For more information, go to bakersfieldpal.org. For victims, families left behind, searching for resolutions, finding justice. Researching the stories that need answers. Investigations, 17 News. We're at the Great Kern County Fair. I told you we'd be on a slide. We've got Alex we and Maddie, Vanessa and Tab on that side. And uh, here, I'll kind of rotate the camera here really quick for everybody. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down oh God, this slide. I'm so scared. Again, it's, it's a little fun. chilly out here this morning, so we have a little bit of dew on the slide. So some of these guys may not go anywhere at all. <laughs> that's me. That's so we so we'll see how that happens. All right. Are you guys ready? Well, actually, can you just do a quick uh, view of the fair? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me, so let me, so nice let me right see now. if I can flip it out over. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The sun is coming up. Look at that sunrise. Wow. That is just beautiful. Oh. You can see the Ferris wheel. You can see all the food vendors. So, yeah, we're high in the sky and uh, having a lot of fun this right. morning. So, yeah, let's back over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah. what's going to uh, happen is, is I'm going to go, go first. Okay. okay. I'm going to go first, and you guys are going to follow me so okay. that I can raise this up. All right. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? <laughs> All right, okay. go, Kev. All right, here we go. There they go. <laughs> there we go. There they go. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, it worked. All right. Careful there, Janita. I can't get up. It's too slick. Oh, he's falling. Right, and he can't. Right. Help the old man. Help. <laughs> and I just lost the IV. I think we had like 30 oh, seconds. We saw Plug that in. Plug that in. Plug that in. Best, Hurry. Best in. Best in. Music sunrise. Up at the Kern County Fair, day three. Uh, we have to see out here. We'll be back for 17 News at 5 and 6, live from the fairgrounds as well. Everybody have a great Friday. Bye, Bye. everyone. 17 News, your local news leader continues 24 hours a day on KGET.com and our 17 News app in the spirit of the Golden Empire. 17 News.